Hey guys, it's Corey Ross and welcome to 6 News. So today we have new images from the new Hereford base and a little bit of concept art as well. Well, this is really interesting. This is the first image I want to talk about. So there's a lot in this. First of all, obviously give us a really good view of the front of the building, which was previously covered by that Hereford base sign and the shooting range in the original trailer. But we also had this view in the original trailer and I thought this wasn't the front because there's so much room that I thought the shooting range must be closer. But no, this is the front. We can see those blue barrels in that little shed there. That is what we see on the very front. So this is dramatically different from the front of the base that we already know because there's no double door in the front. It's actually down there on the side in kind of this underhang area. So that's significantly different. This overhang as well, we can see that it actually has a solid wall there too. So I'm thinking there's probably at least one window behind that. And on the left, I'm thinking we're probably seeing the way kind of down into the lower level, uh, some sort of staircase probably there, but hard to tell. Most of the windows on this are reinforced. We can see that again from the other side there. They look like we have possibly two breachable windows on there and that's it so a lot less windows is crazy and there's more to go over in this but we're going to move on to another image first so this is another new image of Hereford base and you can see this nice side entrance this i didn't know where it was before because we had this camera view that was right next to that jeep and right next to the building so it was very closed down i couldn't tell where it was but now from this image we can see that it's the garage and quite interesting to look at we can obviously see that from the other image all these windows up here are reinforced they cannot be breached the two windows on the left though can be breached but of course they're not uh, double windows like they are in the current version of course the top window isn't even there it's actually a balcony so that's a whole new room and a whole kind of chunk of level up there significantly bigger map now there's another thing though i noticed and if you look at the garage here you can see how part of it has a sloped roof. Well, if we actually go back to that other image, we can see the garage right here. It's actually a completely separate part of the main building. Kind of an extension, I guess. And you can see that sloped roof. Then it kind of goes into the actual building itself. So just bringing that out of the building, even though the garage is way bigger, really does show that this map is just much bigger than current Hereford. Like it's just way bigger, way, way bigger. And the floor space has just increased dramatically. But also there's far less breachable areas. I also think in this trailer, so we don't get to see any of the basement shots. I'm really curious how they're getting the reinforcements down there. Can't wait to find out. Well, let's go over some more new images. So we have these concept arts. So this is really cool. So this kind of puts our building kind of outside, I think, the actual REF base that it's set in. And it has more of this farm feel. So if we go into the second photo here, we've got the garage. This looks pretty much exactly the same, except in the actual game now it's going to be mirrored. But it looks so similar. And it's crazy how good this concept art is, because this is pretty much exactly what it looks like in the, the real version. You can see the slanted roof at the top. There's a little bit more detail, I guess, with like the supports for the roof, but otherwise it's incredibly good. And you can see it definitely has this old rundown farm look, like the anvil, some spare wheels and all that. But obviously it has been turned into something for training up troops because you've got some targets there. Really cool. Then we've got this external view, which is definitely the front of the building. You can see that that kind of sloped outcrop and the walls are the same as what we're getting in the game and then we have what looks going to be a similar part but a little bit different uh, angle on the front again that run down farm feel we've got that entrance which would lead down to the basement obviously a different uh, layout for the stairs it's much more central to the building but very very similar to what we're getting it's amazing how close that concept art is and if we go back to the front image here we can see some of that old farm kind of aspects are here because of course we've got some silos there so we've still got that rundown farm feel in this area even though there's kind of a more and i wouldn't say a more modern building but certainly the bit with the spitfires out front 
that looks to be a proper RAF building that's been placed up there sometime after this farm building. So quite interesting to mix all those different elements together. So the takeaway from all this is the map is a lot bigger. The front entrance is dramatically different, like hugely different, which also means the internal layout for the ground floor must be dramatically different, like just simply having the double doors to the side. Now, of course, this is all stuff we have in the current Hereford, like that garage is like an outcrop from the rest of the map, but it doesn't feel so severe as it does in this version. Um, I'm quite surprised and I'm I'm really mostly interested to get my hands on this map to just see why there's so little breachable windows that we can see like it really feels like i'm going to have to get into the building through a window then then i expect there will be multiple layers going into the objective rooms you have these kind of external kind of rooms that then lead into the objective rooms rather than actually having the objective rooms be on the exterior. And I'm so curious about the basement because I don't think we've seen any pictures from the basement at all. Anyway guys, that's just some more information on the new Hereford base map. I think it looks really cool and I can't wait to play it this weekend. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.